this is a video about my experience with the gaming messiah, Titanfall. Or rather, the hugely impressive Titanfall beta. So in the very definition of deceased equine cruelty, I'm going to flog this dead horse for all that it's worth. How does this game feel compared to Call of Duty Ghosts? The first thing to say is that they couldn't be more oppositional games if they tried. The main difference, I suppose, is that Titanfall feels like it's been made by people who have a vague idea what the fuck they're doing, and Ghosts feels like a monkey at a typewriter scenario where they haven't quite figured out what each key does. Titanfall in its beta is already a more complete, more fun, better thought out gaming experience than Ghost would be even if I was instantaneously made Emperor of the Universe and my every whim satisfied in terms of the various changes I would make to it. It simply outclasses it in every aspect that's important to me. I'm going to get a bit philosophical right now so pardon me while I tear into Infinity Ward and their shitty attitude. There's lots of dead horses in this video that need a good flogging actually, sorry animal fans. It's one thing to make a shitty game. It happens and it's understandable. It's another to not recognise that it's shit and belittle people who spend their hard earned benefit money when they have legitimate argument for frustration. Titanfall makes Ghost look so stupid, so clunky, so slow and so crude that I'd be embarrassed to attach my name to it. And this is just the fucking beta. Here are some of the reasons why. Fun factor. Titanfall has this amazingly crucial element to it. It's fun. It's fast paced, has a meta game and a skill gap and yet maintains its accessibility. It's easy to pick up and yet difficult to master, how an FPS should be. I remind you that these people are the real Infinity Ward. They know what the fuck they're doing. It's crazy and hectic and absorbing and never dull. It's got batshit crazy moments in it just like Modern Warfare 2 did at its very very best, except possibly more so. I love this game and it's very different to what I was expecting. Movement. Good COD players will thrive in this game, campers will not, and the main reason for that is how the movement system works. It's simple and fluent. No fall damage and infinite sprint type of stuff. The double jumping wall riding elements are crazy fun and make for some crazy plays all the time. If you can master the movement, you'll win. If you can navigate effectively you'll win. If you camp and play like a bitch, you'll lose. Thank fuck. Compare that to Ghost for a moment. Playing Ghost is like trying to be one of those angels from Doctor Who. You can only move when people aren't looking directly at you. Otherwise you'll have people acting like fucking statues for 10 minutes in a TDM. There's almost no action and no flow to it. So much so, it's almost the perfect example of how to fuck up a game. Gunplay. Titanfall has very COD-like gunplay when pilot v pilot engagements are concerned. The time to kill is slightly longer than Modern Warfare 3, more like Black Ops 1, but the connection so far has been very very crisp in the beta. This means the gun skill skill gap is thankfully part of the show. It's so nice to have a game where every death doesn't feel like an injustice. If someone outguns you, then they outgunned you. The real fun comes into the game when titans start falling. Shit really starts flying, which leads me into my next point, gameplay dynamics. Titanfall is a truly dynamic game, with the gears constantly shifting between infantry and titan combat. Never before I've ever played a game where the situation changes so drastically and so often that it keeps you on your toes. Aggressive adaptive players will thrive, slow fixated players will not. This is heaven for me. Ghost is perhaps the most one-dimensional game ever in comparison. There is only one way to play really and that is fucking slow and campy. That's not the COD that I fell in love with. The wow factor. There's not a moment in a game that's really a let up. Sure you can get yourself a breather by evading and calling in your titan, or ducking out of a sticky situation, but that's just in aid of doing something else incredibly cool the next fucking moment. Honestly, the reason why this video is longer is not because I wanted it to be, but because I simply didn't want to cut anything out. And spoiler alert, we don't even win the game. And the best part is, you know what, I don't even care. Care. Just look at all the cool shit happening all the time. These are my closing thoughts about this beta. I can't believe I'll have to wait another fucking month to buy this fucking game. That is going to be the longest wait for a game that delivers in the history of Xbox. Thank you gaming gods. Thank you from the bottom of my previously broken heart. The nine year old boy part of me that gets excited and giddy that can't wait to play this game is back. I'm going to stop there actually. I just can't waste another minute talking about it when I could be playing it. See you on the other side virgins.